everybody who's here right now, say hi. Give me um, a comment and tell me you're here so I can know. Where are you watching from? Who are you? <laughs> I'm here to celebrate four years being on YouTube. It's very exciting. Um, this whole month, not today, but this month. So say hello. Well, we have more people here, I guess. I really hate the beginnings of YouTube live videos because nobody really makes it interesting, and I, I can't think of how to do it. Um, how can I make it interesting? Next time I do it at a piano, and I'll play some music for you. That might be kind of cool. Hey, Greg, how are you? What kind of popcorn are you eating? I just had some popcorn, actually. I got it at Costco. It's like a vanilla and salt. Very good. Oh, only one person here. Okay, so, oh, thank you, whoever gave me a thumbs up. Can you hear me okay? If you can hear me okay, thumbs up. If you need more sound, I can yell. The microphone, I don't know if it's working. Homemade popcorn. Can you hear me? I'm gonna have to cut out this part of the video when when I later on. Hey Greg, can you hear me? Oh, there's birds here. Thumbs up if you can hear. Hi piano man. Okay, you can oh Domi. Hi, how are you? Um como ça va? <laughs> I'm learning little by little. All right, cool. Yes, thank you. Awesome. Zoopy Soup, Piano Man. Uh, oh, don't me. <laughs> Greg, so nice to see you here. So, um, all right. Well, congratulations to me <laughs> for being on YouTube for four years. It's been a lot of fun, and I've made a lot of friends around the world. It's amazing. Who would have thought? Um where are you watching from? I know Greg is in Virginia. Zoopy Zoop, where are you watching? Domi, you are in, um, my mind is going blank. I've been sleeping very little. So let me tell you what I've been doing lately. I have been working literally a technique course that's coming out tomorrow. <laughs> Almost no sleep. Almost no sleep, like working through the night because I want to make sure that it's done before I go off and do other things. And I want it to be ready for you tomorrow. Um, Toronto. So, so I'm a little bit loopy um, <laughs> from lack of sleep, but I'm really happy to be here. All right. So uh, I said that we were going to talk about how long it takes to learn music because that's a very common question, isn't it? When you've seen someone play a piece that you like, or even like if I see someone do a painting or something, I might say, hey, how long did it take you to do that painting? Is that a, a question that comes up for you? Let me know. Felicidades, Jose Luis. Hi, <laughs> my Spanish is really bad, it's minimal. South Africa, hello. Wow, South Africa is beautiful. I've never been, but I have seen pictures. Angola, oh my goodness. Uh, that's awesome. I'm gonna have to look up all these places. You know, okay, so here's what I do. I, I love to go to different places in the world, but of course, you know, it's not, it's not feasible to do that on a daily basis. So I go on Google Maps and I'll pick a country or a state or a place at random and then I'll zoom in and I'll do that thing where you can walk on the street so you can see the streets and like how the houses are and things like that. I do that pretty often. <laughs> it's my way of traveling from home. So I'm going to have to look up Angola. Um, where in South Africa are you, Amzia? I want to, I'm not going to stalk you. <laughs> I just want to look up your, your city and kind of walk the streets with Google. Sweden, Philippe. Philippe, is that how you say your name or do you say Philip? I don't know how, how you would say it in Sweden. Um, who else is here? Wow, awesome. So, hi from England, hello. <laughs> so have you asked that question? How long does it take to learn a piece of music or how long should it take or is it taking me too long? Let me know in the comments so that I can answer um, that question in a way that will help you all. Shlomo, you're here. Hi. Thanks so much for, for joining. Um, I've been enjoying getting your, <laughs> your email updates. And don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Nobody will ever know. Uh, Shlomo, I told you my uh, 
Technique course will be available tomorrow. It's going to be available tomorrow in the evening, just, just to specify. I want to make sure that it's in the shape that I want it to be in, and it takes a while to upload to the platform, so I don't want you to go on and look for it before it's there. Um, if you are on Instagram or on Facebook, follow me, and I'll let you know there, or you can look tomorrow uh, about 7 o'clock uh, U.S. Central Time. I'm not sure how that translates to where you might be. Johannesburg, wow, amazing. Do you like living there? Oh, this is so cool. All right, so I don't know if anybody's really interested in the question that I'm gonna answer though, because I'm not seeing, <laughs> maybe it, there's a lag. So I'll have to look up Johannesburg. Shlomo, where are you in Israel? I, I think I saw on the receipt, but I didn't. And, and is that Igars? I'm not sure how you say your name from England. Um, let me know what city you're in. Sweden, Philip, are you in, where are you in Sweden? Horst from Germany. This is really amazing. Thanks so much for being here. I love this. <laughs> hi, hi. So Greg, learning music or learning to play music, there's a big difference. Learning to play, let's say learning to play a piece of music. Let's specify it to that. Say you somebody play Moonlight Sonata. And you say, how long did it take you to learn that? Have you ever asked that question? Shlomo, you're in Nazareth. Wow. Okay. Very uh, historic place. From Stockholm. Philip, I wish I knew how to say your name. I'm just going to call you Philip like in English. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, well, I'm in Dallas, Texas, or just outside Dallas, Texas. And it's, it's a sunny slab. Right. I said it right. Cool. What do you think? So it's not time. It's what do you do? And so what really matters is how you practice, how often you practice, because that's part of what you do. Um, do you play a piece from beginning to end? I've seen many people think that that's practicing because either <laughs> their teacher has taught them that or hasn't taught them how to practice, or they taught themselves and not sure like how to, how to save time, you know, how to do things uh, productively. So... That's the question to ask. Not how long did it take you, but what did you do? And that's how you can learn what works for people and you can try for yourself and find out if that works for you. Does that make sense? Let me know what you think. I'm waiting, I'm looking at the comments. Type fast. <laughs> Let me see, what, did I miss anything? Not yet, everyone's saying hi, this is so nice. All right, so as I'm waiting for, for you to, to react to that, um, in case you haven't seen my latest video, the last one I put up, which is a really long one, <laughs> where I tell you the story of my basically losing my ability to play uh, and a doctor telling me that I shouldn't choose music as a career because of tendonitis. So uh, from there, rebuilding my technique from the ground up and learning how to play in a way that me be expressive and play fast, play without any sort of pain, and play for really long periods of time. Sometimes, you know, I'll go from one rehearsal to another, or, um, uh, well, not these days. <laughs> these days, I don't go to anything, but right before we were told to stay at home, um, that whole month before, I was working seven days a week, and on some days, I was playing for eight hours, you know, driving from here to there in a plane, and no pain at all. So, so I've learned some things about how to do technique, and also from having taught lots and lots of people who either came to me with technique that I couldn't believe that how they it could be that bad, not, not to be mean or anything, but I just, it was really bad. I wasn't sure how I was going to help them. All the way from there to just complete beginner, you know, like a three-year-old starting with me, literally a three-year-old. So I've had all these experiences and seen how my approach can be um, fine-tuned and adapted to apply to basically everybody. And so in this la last video that I posted, I talked about that, and then I um, put up a really long exercise, which is a preview of my... Um, technique course, which I'm calling Become a Piano Superhero. 
And uh, so it's a three part course that's coming out tomorrow. I'm really, really excited. I've been thinking about it for about a year and a half and working on it constantly during this lockdown time. Um, and so, so go check that out and see if you like it. Uh, don't go through it fast. That's not the point. The point is to do the exercises and to repeat them and think about how you're doing them. Watch me, listen to what I'm saying. So technique isn't built by you know, doing a bunch of flashy things. It's, it's built little by little, like brick by brick, the way you would build a fence that's going to last you know, when a, a wind blows on it, right? It might be a beautiful fence, but then the first, when that comes, it comes down because it didn't have any support. It didn't have a good structure. So technique is kind of like that. You don't learn to play fast by playing fast pieces. You learn to play fast and to have flexibility and agility and hand coordination by doing small movements over and over correctly, and then linking those movements together in complex uh, patterns in order to play a piece of music. So that's why that particular video that you're gonna see if you go watch it, it looks really simple and easy. And it is, and you have to do it correctly over and over because you're building your um, muscle memory. Basically, you're teaching yourself how to move correctly over and over with tiny little moves all right that's the intention of the course and that video that's on youtube it's not to get you playing like this amazing exercise right from the start that's not gonna that's not gonna help you as much unless you're a very very advanced pianist okay so let's see what you guys have been saying um greg i'm still trying to perfect the summertime arrangement after two years of playing it so um, is it be, it's not because you can't read the notes. I know you can. What's, what's, what about it is troubling you? Let me know that. Ciao. Marcut, 1981. Hi. Mike Cushy, Harry. Hello. <laughs> Pablo, you're running. Are you jogging or are you running away from somebody? <laughs> are, you, are you exercising? That's really cool. Maybe I'll sing a... A song to get you going. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Hi, Pablo. So, what do you think about what I've said? Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Can you hear the, the the birds singing? I love the birds. Anyway, so that's that's the the bottom line on technique and um, the bottom line on learning to play. It's not the time that's the de deciding factor. It is the actions that you take in anything in life. If so, for example, it takes nine months for a baby to go, to go from conception, about nine months, to go from conception to being ready to born, to be born. <laughs> but you know, there's stuff happening in those nine months lots of stuff happening like constantly 24 hours a day right so it's not just the nine months and then a baby comes out there's a process it's the same thing in music of course it's not as complicated as creating a human being but everything in life is a process and it takes time but the time alone it won't do it so great what's stopping in your way i'm waiting to read i think there's probably a bit of lag that's okay i'll wait Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Today's Mother's Day. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Uh, one time I got a text from somebody I had uh, recently met, and he knew that I don't have any kids. Um, and he said, Happy Mother's Day. And I said, What? I'm, I don't have any children. And he said, No, but you've given birth to so much music. <laughs> and I thought that was really cool. And that's true. So, in a way, then, I guess all women are mothers to something and all women are fathers to something that you create. All right, great. Uh, Pablo, I'm teaching my daughter. She's You're teaching her how to play piano? That's so cool. Just let her sit and, and make sounds. Obviously, you know this. I That's how I started. My mom said that um, when I came home from nursing school, nursery school, nursery, not nursing. I'm not a nurse. When, when I came home from nursery, I guess I was like three. Um, we had a piano in the apartment and I would reach up over my head and I would plunk out the songs that I had heard. And she was surprised because they sounded like the songs. I wasn't just, you know, playing notes. Um, so I guess, you know, if you start early in life, it probably shows that that's something that you really 
love to do, you know, because nobody forced you to do it and no one's paying you to do it. You just spend your time doing it, which would be an amazing way to go through life, wouldn't it? Just to do stuff because you love it and for no other reason. Oh, uh, Greg, just trying to work out little things that trip me up. Lots of hand movement and arpeggios, timing. Okay, so Greg, you need to get my um, technique course. And Greg, Greg is a friend of mine. We're very good friends, so I can say this to him. You need to do what I say. <laughs> it took us many years for him to finally admit that, yes, what I was doing was actually helping him. But um, when you get the course, Greg, Greg and everybody else, don't skip. Don't skip anything. Do everything I tell you to do. I promise. It's not a waste of time. Pablo, you're teaching her piano. She just touches the notes and laughs. Good. She's happy. That's great. What's her name? Where are you, Pablo? I, I, I don't know. Where are you located? I think you told me, but I don't remember. So um, any questions? I'm going to not stay on too long today probably get off pretty quickly. Um, give me some thumbs up. Let me know that you like this video. Or if you don't like this video, I hope you like it. Elena or Ilana? Elana? Greg, you know where your feet are. <laughs> well, Miles and Elvis want to know if you're standing in your, do in your doorway. Uh, Miles and Elvis are my dogs. And we were visiting Greg one time at his, at his own house. And my dogs are chihuahuas, chihuahuas, so they're very, very bossy. And Greg was just standing in his doorway to the kitchen and leaning, and the dogs didn't think that was okay. <laughs> Every time he did it, they would bark at him. So now they, uh, we always check in to see if Greg is leaning in his doorway. Jo Johanna or Johanna, I'm learning Mozart Sonata Op. 16, K544. And your tutorials have been invaluable. Oh, thank you. Those were so much fun to make. Working on the Allegro, trying to get faster, currently at about seven minutes. That's wonderful. When you're trying to go faster, please make sure that you go just a little bit faster at a time and you do it like three times in a row. If you haven't watched my my technique, uh, no, my, um, well, you should watch my technique uh, videos, but also if you haven't watched my secret piano practice tip, video you must you must you must it's it's like it's a game changer it's like magic for everyone who's tried it and i'm sorry that i didn't learn it earlier in life i was in college by the time i learned it so i'm you know telling you guys just go check it out it's not that long a video and it really helps and greg you know about it and i hope you're doing it <gasps> pablo you're in spain oh how fun that's awesome we're in spain I've not been to Spain. I've been to Italy, but Spain I would love to go to. Uh, I want. I, I need to go to the beach in in Dallas. There's no beach, <laughs> and I like water. So, um, Mike Cushy. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Phil, Philip. Thank. I'm the best. I'm the best. Thank you, <laughs> Pablo. You don't have to write. It's okay. Con concentrate on your run. You can tell me later on Facebook. Uh, or here. I think I've seen you on Facebook. Greg, you'll buy your course. That's not the issue. Are you going to do what I say? <laughs> All right. Any other questions before I, I, my mom just came home. We were supposed to go out for dinner to have like Mother's Day dinner, but um, my mom plays violin and uh, she actually got a job to play violin today for Mother's Day at a retirement home. Can you believe it? I couldn't believe it. And so they gave them food. They gave her food and she brought it home to eat. So no Mother's Day dinner for me. Well, well it's okay because I have work to do. There's so much work to do to upload that technique course for tomorrow. Um, all right. Before I go, any questions? Time is ticking. Uh, I think I said everything. Talked about how long it takes. Talked about the technique course being available tomorrow. Oh, one thing I did not talk about. It was like really cool. Okay. Thank you so much, Amzi. Thank you so much. So here's here. I'm going to post this also on Facebook and everything. But all right. I thought about how I can celebrate my four-year uh, anniversary. And here's, here's what I came up with. I've never done this before. I don't know if I'll ever do it again. But uh, starting tomorrow, Monday, from 9 a.m., my time, which is U.S. Central Time, until the next Monday at 9 a.m., 
Um, all my courses are 20% off. And those prices will be set. You don't need a discount code or anything. I'm going to go in and manually set each price 20% off of every course and every tutorial that's on my website, including the technique one. So, um, and you don't have to like buy them all at once. You can, you know, just whatever, whatever you want. The, all the prices are going to be 20% lower than normal. And then next Monday, you know, Monday the 18th, They'll go back to normal, which are really low anyway, but like 20% off is pretty cool, right? Um, how to get better at sight reading. I have a video about that on SA. Um, go check out. So um, you can always do a, a search on my channel. Um, just like go on, you know, click on my channel and then search like sight reading or search a title of a piece. I think somebody had asked for... Um, River flows in you tutorial or something. And that's been up for a couple of years now. So do a search. A sight reading video is up already. And Philip, I'm doing your courses fun instead of working boring during the lockdown. Yay. Well, if you like the courses that you have so far, go on my site tomorrow or, you know, all week and see what you like. 20% off. All the prices will be set. No need for a discount code, no need for coupon, none of that, okay? Any other questions? I'm going to sign off in like two minutes. I know I keep saying that, but I've been, so I'll go until 25. It's been 20, 22 minutes, um, and uh, I have work to do. And I'm sure you do too. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Pablo. Thanks for the kisses. <laughs> I don't know. Um, keep running. Have fun running. All right. So if no other questions, so okay, I did everything. I did the, how long does it take? I did um, the technique course and I did the 20% discount. Now, if you're watching this video sometime in the future, that discount probably won't be there. I don't know if I'll ever do this again, but I just thought that'd be kind of fun and why not? I get, I get strange ideas. Today I got the idea to start a musical theater company because right now there's no theater at all because of you know the, the COVID-19 and all that. There's no theater work and theaters are closing left and right. Um, musicians who are working on, you know, in hotels or bars or, or cruise ships or the theater, none of us have any work. And the truth is that in musical theater, um, unless you're like, you know, at the Broadway level, pretty much almost everything below that really doesn't pay very well. And so today I had the idea, well, why not? Why doesn't it pay well? Why do all the actors and singers and musicians and directors, why do we have to pay? Why do we have to work for such little money if what we do is so important? You know, people come and enjoy the shows, their lives are transformed. And yet, you know, we work basically a lot of us for minimum wage, if you average out all the hours that's spent, and sometimes even just volunteers. Uh, and I don't think that's okay. So today I got the idea to figure out <laughs> how to have a theater company that is profitable and where people actually get paid for what they do. So, all right, uh, Greg, you're gonna call me soon. You have many questions. Uh-oh, I'm busy that day. <laughs> New phone, who this? All right. Thank you. Thank you for the happy Mother's Day. I'm going to say goodbye now. Um, thanks for joining me. Really appreciate it. I like having you guys here. I love that you're watching my videos and learning from them and enjoying them. I love hearing from you. Go um, sign up uh, on Facebook for Piano Practice Tips. That's the place where we all talk to one another and you guys can ask questions and I'll answer and you post videos of yourself playing and you know we can all say, wow, that was amazing. And then you can say, but look, what I'm doing here doesn't quite work. And then because I can see you, I can tell you, you know, what you might want to try. So thank you, Shlomo. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. All right, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, I will see you soon. Bye. Yes.